Holy shit balls, this game is amazing. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy is one of the best platforming video game experiences out there right now. One that could easily rival the likes of Sly Cooper, Crash Bandicoot, Ratchet and Clank, and even the king himself. And why would my opinion matter, you ask? Well, because I'm the greatest video game reviewer on YouTube. You're given control of the pinnacle specimen of what an ideal man should be. The epitome of character design. This guy. Your task is to climb an impossible mountain with a sledgehammer. But nothing's impossible for Dinkus McGee here, especially when you have the most responsive and fluid controls ever made in a video game. Oh, the narrator in the background? That's the brainchild of the game. The genius, the messiah, Bennett Foddy. He also created the critically acclaimed Co-op. Remember Co-op? The 2010 Flash game that was so well received, it's built a pathway for Bennett to carve his name once again in video game history. As you progress through the game, Sir Bennett will guide you through the various obstacles with his soothing voice, inspiring you with words of encouragement, badgering, I mean, showering you with uplifting quotes by historically relevant people, and playing you popular and hip memorable songs straight out of your great grandparents' gramophone. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ice tea. Who doesn't like listening to going down the road feeling bad by Cliff Carlisle while you're falling off a mountain for the hundredth time? I have absolutely nothing to say about this song. I've never seen a level design more ingenious and imaginative on a platformer as high of a caliber as this one. You can forget about Sonic Mania. Forget about Banjo-Kazooie, and forget about the crazy, amazing levels in Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, just look at this trash. Like, who wants to play this? Like, riding a lion? Come on, that's original. Floating platform? Haven't seen that one before. Oh look, it's Bowser again. And the princess. Of course she needs saving. These frost battles look pretty original though. That's pretty cool. Like, I don't want to play this game. Look at it. They have an upside down pyramid. What's that? What the fuck is this thing? This game's not even that good. You shouldn't play it. You should play Getting Over It instead. That's a much better game. Okay, you know what? Who am I kidding? Some jokes just go on for too long. This game sucks! The world of Getting Over It should be the template for every game level designer to come regardless of genre. You have this little jump scare in this area. There's this spot they call the Devil's Butthole. Another jump scare. You didn't think that would happen, right? There's even an underwater level. <laughs> this snake that took me a whole day to get to would send you all no! the way back to the start of the game. Further igniting the spark within you to not give up and keep moving forward. This game teaches you the core values of human existence, our tenacity, and will to live. It's brought us this far as a species. Why stop when you've only failed that jump a thousand times? Or a hundred thousand times? Or maybe a million times? You just keep going. That is the essence of the game. The human race's indomitable will to carry on and move forward regardless of the failures, regardless of falling down, getting up to get over it again and again and again, so that one day we may pass the torch on to the next generation of our species.